One of the most exciting times of your life is when you retire, or is it? There's some people at a certain age that people expect you to retire. And so when you say you're going to retire, it's, it's about time. But there's also people that retire early, and it may catch certain people by surprise, and it may react a little bit differently. So what I'd like to do is talk to you today a little bit about how people will respond or may respond to your retirement and how to deal with some of those different responses and give you some perspective around that. But before we get into that, I'd like to ask that you take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button down below if you like this content so we can ensure this content get, content gets out to as many people as possible. So let's get into it. You go into your office or you go into your friend sets and you, you express that you're gonna retire. You announce it to people and there's going to be a whole range of reactions. While it's really exciting for you, other people may see it a little bit differently for a host of reasons. Some, most people, by and large, are going to be happy and supportive of you. They're going to think it's great. They're going to, you know, wish they can do it. And, and they're going to wish you well. And, and it's going to be uh, a real happy thing for everybody involved. And, and others, they may express surprise. Not that they think you shouldn't retire, but they just weren't expecting it. I know when I announced that I was going to retire, it, it some people were uh, put it back and they were like, wow, wait a minute, I didn't know you were going to retire. And it's because you don't usually talk about the process getting there. You just announce that you're, when you, when you get to that point, there's going to be other people that are skeptical. They don't think you're going to do it. Oh yeah, you're just going to work or you're just trying to leave or, you know, whatever their reasons are. I mean, I hate to say it, but there's, there's some folks out there that are, that are just haters. They're going to they're gonna be envious of you because you're doing something that they want to do, but they can't, or they didn't take the steps to do it. You're going to get a group of folks that are going to ask you for advice and that are an inspiration from your experience. And those are the best ones to have because those are the folks that I think a lot of you might be on this channel that are saying, you've done it. Help me understand it. I think it's great. You know, I want to be part of that club. And others might question your decision and express concern about your financial security and ask a bunch of questions. Uh, some people may just may just flat out resent you because you're doing something that they can't do. Um, I have some folks that every time I talk to them, they have to make the comment about me retiring early. And to be honest, I, I, could, I could say that it's fine for them to do it and it's more them than me, but it's irritating because my identity isn't about just being retired. There's so much more to me. And I'm not any different of a person. I may have a different set of experiences, but I'm no different than I was before. But every time, they always have to point it out. Um, but, you know, those reactions that you're going to get from folks are going to really depend on their own beliefs, experience, and attitudes toward retirement and work. Some people don't understand that there is a way to, to, to look at things besides working. Because, again, as, as Americans, we've been conditioned to work and that's that's what we do so to say that you're not going to work anymore and you're financially independent it's just something that a lot of people can't believe but i i think what is more important than their response is how you deal with it and how you let it affect you and i i think the only way you can effectively deal with it is by understanding and and having some perspective around it um, and, I, and I think the first thing to understand is that the rest of the world does not revolve around your retirement. As excited as you are, as meaningful as it is to you, as much as you've worked for it, everybody else is in the grind. I remember when I left my last job and the day before I left, somebody made a snide comment and I did not want to go in that day. But I realized that because the environment I was in had a level of toxicity to it, I, I recognize that they're still in it. This is what they've been accustomed to. I can't expect them to be any different because I'm going through this positive uh, experience in my life. Uh, so I did end up going in and, and, and some of that. But I, I guess my, my point is, is they have, people have been conditioned to think what they're going to think. And you can't expect their perspectives to change or their attitudes to change because something as good is happening to you. Uh, you. You shouldn't expect everyone else to share in your excitement. While there's some folks that are going to admire decision and, and seek to seek to understand and, and aspire to do what it is that you, that you want to do. And these are the folks that are, that are filling your cup. 
some people are just going to question your financial wisdom and, and worry about things that we talk about, the boredom or the lack of purpose and, and all of those negative types of things. And these may be things that you've already thought about, but again, Unless you've spoken to people about it beforehand, most people don't know the path that you're on. They don't know the journey. And so they're going to be skeptical and ask questions because they haven't been in the journey that you're in and they're not going to understand it. And they may never understand it until they find themselves in that circumstance. Um, You have to recognize that some people are going to resent you because you accomplished their dream. There's a lot of people, you'd be surprised at how many people ask me, how did you do it? How did you do it? How did you do it? I want to do it. I wish I could do it. So on and so forth. I was just talking to a buddy of mine yesterday and we were talking about retirement. And the thing I mentioned to him, he was, he's incredibly excited for me, by the way. So this is somebody that's just incredibly excited and wishes he can do it. And I said to him, look, you know, you still have some young children at home and you're, you have other priorities right now. But as long as you take the baby steps now, then when your life gets to that point, everything else will coalesce around that. And then you'll be able to move quicker towards the towards the path to retirement. And it's interesting because it wasn't until my daughter was out of the house. It wasn't until things started to come around that I started to even think about the possibility of retiring. But I still had no idea that I was going to be able to retire at 52 and and then we we went to a financial advisor and as we started to look at the specific detail we started to really understand how that picture was shaping up and that we could retire sooner than we than we thought we could and i think that inspires a lot of people because a lot of folks i think feel hopeless because they're not in the, a bit, they're not in the circumstance to do it now and may not necessarily know the pathway to get there but under, start to understand and that once you start down that path then, as I like to say, the universe will coalesce around that idea. Um, Some people may resent early retirement because they perceive it as unfair or unattainable for themselves. They might say, you know, because I can't do it. There's there's people that because they can't do something, they don't want you to do it. If I can't have you, they can't either type of thing. They might feel envious of the uh, the freedom and leisure time that you have, especially if they're still working and struggling financially. You know, one of the challenges that we have, I think, in the social media generation is that social media shows the best of everything um, to the point that when people take pictures, they say, I want to take a picture of my good side. So everything looks looks good. And so when you when you retire, people just look at the fact that you're retiring and they but they don't look at all the work that went into it. They don't think about all of the times that we chose not to go out to dinner, that when we chose to get rid of cars that were more expensive for cars that were less expensive, for flying coach as opposed to first class, for not doing those things, um, for not buying extravagant things that perhaps we could have afforded at the time, but chose not to do because we wanted to put money away. They don't see that. Um, And when you look at the, the, you know, they become envious because of your, your leisure time. And it's, it's again, you get upset with that because you don't see the work going into it. Because most of the time, when you look at people that are retired, the retired person is going to share with you also everything that went into that, that went into that process. And there's usually a lot that goes into, that goes into that process. You know, there could be a sense of resentment because they believe you're not contributing to society uh, in the same way, or if they, they feel burdened by the social safety nets and pay, pension systems that they pay into, well, now that you're going to get, you know, your pension, or you're going to get social security, you're now taken away and you're just living off of the, you know, living off of the government or, or whatever the case is. And, and, you know, it's just, it's just a bad argument because if the way I see it is if you resent me because I don't have to go to work every day, then what else is it about my life that you that you resent? And and the fact is is this is really an opportunity to understand and read the people that you have around you. I, I hate to put it that way, but if 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 you retire and they feel resentment because of you just not working, then they've resented other things that have happened along the way. 
And they just hadn't said, they hadn't said anything. And a lot of times these are the same people that, um, that, 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 that make those comments to you, that make those comments to me every time I talk, hey, retiree. You know, I, I was playing golf with a, a guy the other day and he says to me, uh, we were talking about things. He owns a, a business in town and we were talking. I told him I'm retired. And, and he says to me, well, you know, you that's that health care money. I, I said, no, it's, it's not that health care money because uh, a large part of my career was logistics. A part of it was in health care and, and so on. So my, the point being, not to, not to get too deep into the weeds, but it's don't, you know, I, I, I felt him looking at my situation Interestingly, wishing he could be doing the same thing, angry that he couldn't, and then somehow minimizing what I was doing. And again, that's all part of a broader context of the conversation. But it's just, it's just, it's interesting because some people look at you as an early retiree, as somebody who's taking the easy way out. And it's, that's just not the case. It's just not the case uh, because there's a lot of work that goes into it because the fact of the matter is, only about 18% of Americans have the ability to retire early. So it's not an incredibly common thing. It's not something that you would walk away and, and necessarily expect people to understand. And so I think when you start looking at some of the naysayers, when you start looking at some of the haters, when you start looking at some of the skeptics, you know, realize that you're in a class that's different than uh, where most people find themselves sitting in terms of working. Most people are going to retire. They don't save enough and they're going to retire at normal retirement age if they're ever able to retire. And, and again, there's a whole host of societal reasons and things that lend themselves to that. So I don't want to, I don't want to diminish the, the importance of those. Uh, but I also do think that uh, the fact that you're in a group of 18% of, of, uh, a 300 plus million person population, it's a fairly small group. And so there's not going to be, you can't expect people to understand, I guess, is the point of, of what I'm trying to say. Um, but, and, and you're going to find that there's going to be some people that just pull back from you because they're going to let their resentment, they're going to let their feelings impact their perceptions of what it is that you're doing. And they're not going to, they're not going to try to relate to your situation. They're not going to try to understand uh, how you did it. They're not going to. They're not going to try to be happy for you, and 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 then eventually that leads to them pulling away from you. And in some cases, you might have to pull away from them. So you have to allow yourself to do that. But I, I think what you want to make sure you do is um, give yourself grace because what will happen. And this is what's happened to me in some cases is that I meet other retirees and I feel like I could relate now relate to them better than some of the people that I've known for a long time. My best friend and I get into conversations about what we call the loops and there's people that just get caught into the loop. And so they, they get caught into something that's, that, that gives them a different outcome than what they want. But those antecedent conditions continue to stay the same. So they don't, they continue to do X behavior with X outcome and they don't want X outcome, but they continue to engage in X behavior. And so, you know, and, the, and so the fact is, is that when you look at other early retirees or some of the people that I've met online or some of the other folks that I just have met since I've retired, a lot of those folks, and particularly the early retirees, you find that they'll see things a little bit differently. So as opposed to valuing money as much as a lot of us value money, they'll value time. Um, or they may have had difficult things that have happened. You find folks that uh, really start to evaluate what's important. And unfortunately, I think a lot of times we, we develop an idea early on on what's important. And we don't allow ourselves the ability to, to change. And so when we meet other retired people um, and we relate to them and we relate to them 
more than we might relate to people that we've known for a long time. Just give yourself some grace because these are all part of the challenges. Again, we talk about the social isolation that can occur as in, a, in another video that can occur in retirement. Well, these are some of the upshots of that. And so my goal here is really to help you be prepared with some of the stuff that I experienced. Um, and, and I try to make sure that the stuff that I experience, I validate with others. And some stuff, it might just be me. And I don't, I don't share a lot of the stuff that is just me being a bad actor <laughs> because it's, it's unique. And if I need to change the narrative, then I need to change my behavior, which I, I do on a regular basis. But I think, you know, as you look around and, and you'll find that a lot of these, a lot of folks that are talking about some of this stuff are, are saying some of the similar things because the experience is similar. We all go through that. And it doesn't just happen when you retire. Sometimes it happens when you get promoted. Sometimes it happens when you take another job, but always allow yourself to uh, find the loop that worked for you. Have grace on yourself when things aren't exactly the way they've always been, but know that you're doing the right things for the right reasons. So on that note, uh, I'd like to, again, ask that if this was helpful for you in any way, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, I will catch up with you soon. Thank you.